Now, I've never been known as somebody who can actually behave myself. You know, if I get any kind of money, I tend to spend it on stupid stuff pretty quick. You know, like I just recently bought a Concours. I also bought that homemade mini bike. I bought a bunch of new old stock mini bike parts. Shoop. No license plate. New old stock mini bike parts. This box is full of the stuff. So I'm not known for being smart. And I may have done my craziest purchase yet. I bought a van. It is a 2004 Ford E250. So it's a three quarter ton. It's got the 5.4, no, correct myself, 4.6 liter V8, which is a great little motor, damn near bulletproof. Obviously I would have preferred the 5.4. And it's got a bunch of junk inside I gotta remove. But this is actually a Florida van that I just bought from Illinois. So I mean this thing is absolutely rust free the sides, inside the wheel wells. I mean, they are absolutely perfect. Could not ask for a cleaner vehicle, especially for the price I paid. Now, I was looking around for vans, but I really wanted to get one of the extended ones. And I was even looking at the GMC Savannah, the Chevy Express. And the other ones, like the GMC style, the, or the GM style, the frame is longer. On the Ford ones, the back is longer. But I ended up finding this one, and between the mileage it has and how clean it is, I mean, both sides, besides actually being, like, filthy, dirty, it was a work truck, this thing is absolutely perfect. The rockers, everything. I mean, the paint still has some shine to it. Yeah, it's got the ladder on the back. It's got a roof rack. I'm gonna kind of go through some of that stuff and clean it out. Um, the roof rack will stay for now, but I'm gonna move the bars back. I have one of those plastic cargo carriers I'm gonna put up there for road trips. But the real kicker has brand new tires, recently new brakes, and only 105,000 miles. And it actually was only being used as a roofing truck for a few years. Now, granted, this thing, like I mentioned, is absolutely filthy. <laughs> but, radio works, AC works, heat works, and it has crank windows, has manual locks. Big deal. I ain't worried about that. That's just stuff that won't break now because it's not there. And, I mean, the, the driver's seat, the foam isn't all ripped up. Normally, this is all torn off. This is actually still really good. So, I mean, this is actually a really nice, clean, straight truck. And besides a little serpentine belt squeak, she runs phenomenal. And like I mentioned, this has the Ford Modular 4.6 liter V8. Nice little engine. This thing was cruising at 80 miles an hour, no problem. So, get the side door open here. And now this is actually going to be a, a little mini-series I'm going to be doing here on the van. Um, between the maintenance and everything else I'm going to be doing to it as far as customizations because all this stuff is going to get ripped out and I'm not going to go full van life but I am going to get this thing all fitted to be a decent toy hauler I can have a lot of fun with especially with going to the car shows and stuff like that so the racks the platform thing here that is all falling apart and some of it actually fell apart while I was driving this weird platform thing all that's gonna come out uh, probably gonna do like a decent rubberized base on the floor the wheel wells are already covered and full of expanding foam so it actually drove super quiet and like barely any interior noise and there's already insulation in the back there so not a whole heck of a lot that's really gonna have to be done to make this thing ready for uh, modification even even it has about a partial roof in there so I got a lot of plans for it full down bed some sort of console with the diesel heater and just you know, I'm gonna add a roof vent and some other stuff 
clean up the interior, paint it up. Make the exterior just look a little bit better. Nothing crazy. All right, and here we are inside the van. All the basic functions, headlights, dimmer works. You even got the dome light. All right, where you go? There you are. Basic interior, you got uh, the weird compartment that folds out down here. It's all full of nails and junk. This random compartment here, I'm probably going to stick a CB radio because it's a van. It's getting a little dark here. I apologize about that. We got all the basic fan settings. Got two 12-volt ports. The AC compressor keeps kicking on with the defrost, so I know that's working. Um, they did say that the AC was working, so that's good. And then what's interesting about this, this is a 2004, which I had an 04 F-150, and it had the updated interior. They kept the same basic interior in the Econo lines, I think like this, because this is the 90s style, until 2008, and then they updated. But they kept the 90s steering wheel all the way through the run. And this is actually a non a uh, it has air conditioning. This is a non-cruise control van, but it's actually a pretty simple process to do. You got to replace the wiring harness donut inside the steering column. You replace the steering wheel to one that actually has the buttons for cruise control. You take it into the dealership after you replace those parts, and they'll flash the computer. And because it's a drive-by wire, you will then have cruise control. So it's kind of an interesting system how they set that up. Radio does work. And uh, I'm not going to turn it on for copyright bullshit. But otherwise, I mean, besides being dirty, this is solid. The dash isn't all beat up. The dash and everything works. The lights all work. I'm going to get a new radio. going to mount a CB in here just because. But otherwise, this is going to be pretty much how it is. I'm not going to do too much in the interior as far as the front goes. All the work I'm going to be doing is going to be in the back. And that's going to be to outfit it to be a toy hauler, camper, work vehicle. When I tried doing the all-in-one, I'm going to have a removable sink. Um, I'm going to replace this chair with a captain's chair out of a conversion van, so this one will spin around. So that way, while I'm parked, I have a seat versus actually having to worry about building seating in the back. Later on, I might do it where it's both chairs, but for the time being, I'm just going to do this one for cost-effectiveness. I mean... Mirrors work phenomenal, pretty big for what they are. So I mean, and this is in the panoramic view or whatever, fisheye. So I'm pretty happy with it. So that's the quick look-see of my van. And got pretty good gas mileage on the way here. It was about 100 miles. And only, only went from about half a tank. So I'm guessing this thing was probably getting mid-teens. And for the time being, that's not bad. So, well, all right, but I'm going to move some vehicles around. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. And this is going to be, at least as far as the interior gutting and all that, I'm going to be doing a lot of that this winter so I can start getting it prepped for spring. And then I can actually do a lot of the work inside the van with a heater going. So I'm going to install a small diesel heater, fold down bed, um, some sort of, remo of a removable sink, uh, some sort of cooler. Uh, 12 volt cooler system. There's gonna be a battery with a DC to DC charger So just have a nice little outfitted camping rig where I could pretty much disappear for a few weeks at a time without any issues so Kind of a, another one of my rambling videos. I just got home with this I'm kind of excited about it been looking for a decent van and For as low miles it is for how clean it is exterior wise, you know rust free and no real body damage I um, ended up getting this for about $2,750, so $2,750. bucks. can not beat it. I mean, especially for being a Wisconsin vehicle, all well, vehicle in Wisconsin, Illinois, Upper Midwest. Um, this is phenomenal, and the thing runs absolutely perfect. No lights on or anything, so. All right, enough of my rambling. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you later. Stay tuned for updates on this. If this is going to be something you guys are interested in actually seeing, let me know. Otherwise, I'll kind of keep those videos kind of short and sweet. Maybe do more updates versus uh, actual build process. So, 
You guys have a good one. Take care and Happy New Year.